Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Today is part two of the 79 Scout Rally. We got it back from Retro Rides, our buddies there that did all the paint polish and correction, so it looks killer. And it's basically in its final stage now. It's all finished as far as we're concerned. We powder coated the rear bumper from our friends Northwest Wheel and Tire. We got all new BF Goodrich uh, KO2s, all five of them from our friends at Northwest Wheel and Tire. Um, my engine builder, Doug, went through and resealed the engine and resealed the transmission. We did tune-up plugs, wires, cap, rotor, rebuilt the carburetor, new fuel pump, new battery, flushed the fuel system, the fuel tank, did brakes, uh, made sure all the gauges, all the lights, everything worked. Again, this was not a restoration at all. This is a preservation. We were just, you know, we just want to make it good. Um, they're only original once. That's what I always tell everybody. They're only original once. So I'm going to show you guys why this Scout is really um, the definition of what my business is. And I've told you guys lots of times my business is, you know, farm to driveway. I want to save them from the farm, bring them back to the driveway, and put them back into use for people to make memories with and to use as work trucks or daily drivers or whatever they want to use them for. But we really don't want to paint them, and we don't want to do the um, body off frame restoration, if you will. Um, we want to do a preservation. We want to make them mechanically solid. We want to paint, polish, and correct the paint as best we can so it shows its scars and it shows its its history and then make sure the interior is good you know reupholster if necessary but generally um, um, we just want to make sure all the gauges work all the lights work the heater the radio the horn the backup lights the dome light you know it's the little things like that for me when you put it in reverse and the reverse lights work and you turn on the parking lights and the license plate light works you open the door and the dome light turns on because the pin switches and the door still work it, little things that's the stuff that makes me happy when i get an old truck from someone and i jump in it look oh look look at lucy yeah she's she's like the producer she's just standing there going hey you know your lighting's not good or the wind is blowing or hey play with me throw the ball yeah anyway she's funny so when I get an old truck from a farmer or rancher or original owner, whatever it is, and I jump in it and it's got a battery and we're, we're able to, you know, fire it up, drive it on the trailer or something like that. When I get in it and I open the door and the dome light comes on or I turn the key and all the gauges work and stuff, I, I'm like a little kid. I get all giddy. I'm like, man, this thing's 50 years old and it still works. That's awesome. But I also do like a, a checklist. So when I get in and I figure out all the stuff that doesn't work, it's like, okay, I got to, you know, we got to fix all the stuff because it's, that's the stuff that matters. You know, a lot of you guys want to do the same thing. You just want to get a good running driving truck, but then you want to put your touch on it, which I'm totally fine with too. So either way, we want to rescue them, get them from the farm to the driveway. And I'm going to show you guys, this is the final video on the scout. Um, it's going to its forever home today. That's why I'm doing this video. Um, but I want to show you just a full walk around of the Scout and talk about a couple things on it and just show you why this particular vehicle is exactly the, this is the core of what my business is. This is what I built the business for. So what I want you guys to see on this and what, you know, I don't need to go over the whole thing. You guys have watched enough videos about it, but I just want you to see what we're talking about. So original paint, 
you can see that the paint came back really nice but like we didn't replace these stripes because all this cracking and stuff like that that's the stuff that the sun did over you know 45 years there's a little bit of checking right here in the window frame not a big deal it's not rusted you know you can only wet sand so much of this stuff off the uh the paint from the oh that's a great shadow that's great nice work there ben okay anyway so you can see little chips little crazing you know it's not perfect but that's what i love about it like to me it is perfect because it shows everything that's happened to it you know there's a little ding right there and there's a little ding in the back we didn't do a lift kit on this truck you know this is the stock height those tires are bfg all-terrain ko2s that's a 30 950 15 and those are the factory rally wheels so 30 inch tire which is about an inch and a half taller than the stock tire i think the stock tires the 225 um, or 235s they're like a 28 or 28.5 so not much different but it's just the right difference you see that you stand back it's just the right difference and then on the interior you know it's like I didn't say that you could get in there. Okay, that's not okay. We're not taking it anywhere. Seriously. Why do you do that? See, now I shamed her. Look at her. Why do you do that? All right. Anyway, this is the plaid interior from the rally. This is killer. This is original. We actually didn't redo this. All these gauges work. That AM FM radio. I'll start it up. Radio works. You see all the gauges. All the gauges work. Backup lights work. The four-wheel drive selector light, there's a light on the dash there that when you turn in four-wheel drive, it says front axle engaged. That works. It's just, this is the stuff that to me is important. Um, you can't see in my foot right there, but there's a dome light underneath the dash. Those are the dome lights on this one. And so, see the door panel. We did new exhaust on it. Now, the exhaust that I like to do because it works a lot better is this is a V8, and we do a two, it, it comes out two, you know, two manifolds. Then you do a, a, like they call it an X pipe or a crossover pipe, and it goes two into one into the muffler. And the muffler, it goes single on the way out. So anyway, powder coated the rear bumper. That's the original color. We just had it sandblasted and powder coated. I put a new hitch ball on because the hitch ball was old. You know, things like that, nothing major, but it's just the little stuff like that. You can do a few things to these and make them really nice and not have to restore it like do the bumper do the tires polish it make it look pretty but you don't have to paint it you don't have to restripe it you don't have to do any of that stuff so did want to show you guys the engine real quick so this is a 345 v8 international motor power steering power brakes um, it did have factory ac um, the original owner took that off because the AC clutch was bad and the AC in these trucks is not very good. Um, he did save all the parts and pieces and we do have it all and I'm giving that to the, the other gentleman. Um, you can see we did all new plugs, wires, cap rotor. We ran all new hoses, all new belts, new fuel filter, new fuel lines, new master cylinder, new battery. You know, you don't have to rebuild these motors a lot of times. You just A lot of times they just need to be resealed, which is what we did. So... Don't always think that they're going to need everything because they don't always need everything. So you can see this is a original California emissions truck. It still has the air pump and everything. And it's actually completely free and functional. So we didn't take it off because then you got to change all the pulleys and everything else. So it's still on there. It doesn't really do anything, honestly, but um, it is spinning free and it's fine. So, But this is a great example of an all original under the hood. You can see all the stickers are still there all the labels, everything, the chalk marks on the hood and the, the firewall from when it was built. So it's really cool.
Um, I'm really, really proud of how this vehicle turned out. All right, so hopefully you can see me, you can see the Scout. Thank you guys for following along with this um, project. It's been really, really fun. Um, it's going to a wonderful family, um, a husband, wife, and three boys. And they want to make memories with it in the summertime and take it to their cabin and go fishing and go, you know, camping and, and take it to cars and coffee. And um, he basically told me that he's buying it to never sell it. He will pass it on to the boys someday when they're older and he's long gone. And it will stay with their family forever, which is what um, Corey, the guy we got it from, that's, that's what Corey wanted. So that's, we did our job, you know, the, the heart part, we did our job. So, again, um, thank you guys for watching, and thanks for following along with everything that we do. We appreciate everything from every in each and every one of you. And I'm having a hard time talking because I'm knowing that it's going to leave today. I might film one more clip when it leaves. Um, it's going in an enclosed transport um, across the country. So, um, if you guys have questions or comments about this uh, scout or any other things that we do, um, go ahead and drop them down below. Um, you can always email us off the website as well. So again, thank you. Uh, hope everyone's having a wonderful day and we'll see you soon. All right, transport guy is here. We're taking it for its final ride down the driveway. I'll take you guys along. And Man, this thing runs good. I am I'm going to miss it, that's for sure. It's always funny when I take these things down to transport guys down on the road and uh, have to do the walk of shame <laughs> on the way home. Not not shameful at all, but um, I have to walk back to my house, which is a ways away. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you know, we don't talk a lot a lot about transport companies, you guys, um, but I will tell you that Pilot Transport, which is a national company. Uh, it's one of the best in the business. These are all usually owner operators. They have their own truck and trailer, but they're contracted through Pilot. And I'll tell you what, every single one of them is just some of the nicest people you'll ever meet and most professional. This is enclosed transport, so it's a little more expensive, but when you have something that's real valuable, it's definitely worth it. All right, everyone, this is what the inside of an enclosed trailer looks like. What he's doing is prepping all the ramps so he can drive it right up to the front, strap it down, and he's actually gonna raise it up and tilt it because he's got two more vehicles that are going in here. Actually, ironically, two brand new Ford Lightnings, the uh, electric ones that were over here on the West Coast for a promotional video for Ford. So watch for those too. trucks. So what he's doing right now guys, if you're wondering, 
he's lining up the ramps inside and he's picking his line left and right to make sure he's all dialed for a straight shot into the trailer. See how all these doors open? That way he can get out anywhere along here, stop and reposition things, adjust ramps up or down the floor, do the uh, straps, anything he needs to do. He can climb up or down to the second level and everything. It's a really cool setup. I'm not sure if that's as interesting to you as it is to me, but I just wanted to show you guys how that all works. Pretty cool process. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.